Hey everyone, it's Firmament Time from the creators of Mist and Riven and Uru and Abduction, which in my case, I guess technically my first Mist game was Mist in that I played it on like my grandparents' computer when I was like four and was very confused because this isn't Mario. I don't even understand how to play this. Uh, but Abdu when Abduction came out, I played that and then I decided to go all the way back and, and I, I covered every single Mist game, including being one of the only people who has done a full playthrough of Uru the single-player port of the MMO, no, I almost said MMORPG, the MMO. Uh, and now we're going full circle, and uh, now this, the their next sequel has come out, or standalone thing. Because abdu Abduction didn't seem to take place in the Mist Universe, but also kind of seemed to take place in the Mist Universe. Not entirely sure, honestly. There was nods. And I know nothing about Firmament except for the fact that they made it, and it's been years since it was announced. Timing is bizarre because the same thing happened with Zelda where I played Breath of the Wild then went back and played all the 3D Zeldas and then now Tears of the Kingdom came out a week before this. What a game to compete with. Hopefully the loading times are better than abductions were. Even on PC, they were brutal, which is rough for a game where lo the loading screens were the gameplay mechanic. So, here we are. Finally, your first breath, and I have taken my last. You're not an FMV. But, uh, who cares, right? Uh, there's so much to be done. I'm dead, but you have so much to learn. <laughs> I once woke up just as you have. A blank mind, a clean canvas. Confused, yes, but I will teach you. Just as I was taught. And so? First lesson, you are a keeper. I was a keeper. We were all keepers. Second lesson. I will lie to you. I learned much later that this is the way to keep the rounds. And third lesson, this machine is your adjunct, your tool to learn and to keep the rounds. Take it, and we will begin. Something about her phrasing made it feel the like... Parliament. It is remarkable that we are here. Her saying... Her saying to take it very much felt like the hook of like, here's, here's where it's safe to talk, because I'm gonna... The game's gonna pause until you do this action. Then it didn't. Uh, let's turn the right... Let's tibby down again a bit, like always. There we go. So, damn it, I lost my train of thought now. The uh, yeah, the way she said, uh, "You're a you're a keeper." I'm, I was a keeper. It just has that feeling of like, no, that guy there, that, guy, that guy's a keeper. It's had a vibe to it. So we have a device, which immediately gives you like this. Legacy of Portal vibe, like all the games that, that take place after that are made after Portal that give you some kind of opening like device that kind of runs the whole game. So I'm curious if this one's gonna be a more mechanically driven, like here's your thing, it has its this this specific power, and maybe you augment it over time, antechamber, uh quantum conundrum, if I can remember correctly. One of the distinct sort of things about Missed being that you kind of just didn't have an inventory whatsoever. Personal maintenance uh, adjunct. Oop, that's not how you change the page. Introduction. As a newly awakened keeper of the firmament mission, you have been assigned a personal maintenance adjunct, which can be informally referred to as an adjunct. Oh, thank you for the permission. The adjunct is a miracle of modern mechanics and electronics, augmenting the keeper's abilities in marvelous ways. 
Your tasks while keeping would normally require keys, tools, and extreme strength to both access and control various aspects of the realms. The adjunct serves as both a key and a tool, and amplifies your abilities. It can access approved areas of the realms, and it can control the equipment and devices, both large and small, that you will use regularly. Sockets. Your adjunct is designed to interface with a socket, a receiving component with the which the adjunct can attach to, giving the keeper access and control. These sockets are ubiquitous in the realms. Although they may appear physically similar to each other, they provide vastly diff uh, diverse abilities. An adjunct can be propelled to a socket both close and far, providing a control from a, uh, pr providing for control from a distance. A communicating leash or tether provides for constant control and feedback while your adjunct is socketed. Operation. To operate the adjunct, first place the adjunct gauntlet on your hand. You can then direct and propel the forward element of the desired socket. Ooh, typo. WITH the forward element uh, firmly socketed, you can activate and control the equipment. The specific aspects of the equipment are viewed by the... Yes? <laughs> The specific aspects of the equipment are reviewed by the keeper through a view. I'm so off, off kilter now. <laughs> viewed for the viewed the the view via, the view veil on the gauntlet. It's got a view veil. What a word! Twisting the gauntlet left or right will activate specific controls available. Some sockets and equipment have more than a single method of operation. You can switch to these additional modes to control them at, at, as well. Augmentations. Starting adjuncts have only basic abilities, but as keepers advance in their training, the adjunct can be augmented with additional capabilities. These augmentations will be provided in the arch as part of the advancement ceremony. Amplified force, apply greater force or torque, distance extension, propelled to double the distance, concatenated socketing, adjunct can chain from one socket to another socket. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure I stopped following this a while ago. Uh, display. The adjunct will, will supply a display when socketed with specific information about the functionality of the socket. The upgrade status is also available anytime on this display. Conclusion. Please respect your assigned adjunct. Use it cautiously so as not to harm yourself or others. Future augmentations may provide for additional abilities. Your mentor can answer any other questions you may have. Keep the realms for all. They can turn a little bit more. Let's see. Then put away book. Is now escape. Do I take it with me? I can always review it later, probably. I mostly read for the benefit of the audience, and blessed be you who can who apparently can take that stuff in on the first try, but that is way too much description to front load for me. But at the same time, I feel like the thing that it actually does is probably intuitive enough that I'd probably pick it up without an explanation anyway. I've played a video game before. Whoop. Hello. Oh, the Q and the E select this over here. It's funny how this is instantly this is instantly more intuitive than uh, all the stuff that they tried to make me read just now. I thought this was I thought this was a shirt for a second there, and then the guitar, and I was like, Cameron. <laughs> That's not an interactive notebook. What is that? What is that? Do I have a zoom button? The squishy thing. Whatever this is. Books on medical physiology. Bunch of lab equipment. Clocks attached to other... No, not clocks. Pressure gauges. Improper beaker storage. A lot of the same blanket. Oop. There you go. I had to like I had to like hold it down for a while to get it to start reacting. Felt a little strange because the clicking wasn't giving me any kind of feedback at first. Oh, 
Oh, that there it is. Can we go up? We can. What if I change my mind? Okay, you can't go down. Okay, question answered. Sorry, I destroyed your your theatric reveal. Those mountains. It's beautiful, no? The majesty and peace of the ice and stone. I didn't emerge from the threshold here as you did. I awoke at this one. My first journey to this realm. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Hello. Telling me about the settings menu now. Okay, there's a sprint. The game periodically chugs for a moment when it's like loading a thing, which is consistent from what I remember from Abduction also. There's not, there's not much out here. Gotta get used to spotting the new sockets. Hello. Yeah, that was, a, that was a very intriguing opening line, opening discussion, where she immediately says that I'm taking my first breath, and, she's, and she has already taken her last. Which in, immediately inspires the imagination to think that this is like, the Keepers might be this, this endless lineage of people that are being woken up from cryo, or clones, or something. And each, every time that the current one dies, the next one is awoken, and then maybe in the gauntlet or something, uh, the memories of the previous one are maintained or simulated, and that person then lives on as a ghost or an AI to guide the next person for some amount of time. Don't fall. You will not be a very good guide if you fall for the next one. What happens to the lineage in that case? Hello. That was a bad sound. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. That's gonna grab something and make a bridge over here later, isn't it? Oh, look at those blocks. Those look gameplay -y, Don't they? I have questions. Blocked from raising. Oh, because it's the right, this bridge here rises there, but there's a claw on the way. I was thinking of elevators, and I'm sure it said bridge right there, too. Oh! Did that on accident. I did not see the ladder. <laughs> My bad. This one's hold. Is that a block that makes it stop going when it hits that spot? No, not really. Picks up a bit of momentum as you hold it down. Uh, I think I want to go over there to pick up a block to get across that gap. Let's put it over there so I don't have to lower this bridge later if I want to move it over there later. Ooh. So if you press tab, 
you can shift between the control types since now I'm lifting instead of driving. But right here on the bottom there, it switches between drive and lift. It also moves very slowly. There's kind of a, a feed to tell me where it's going, but I cannot see that well. Yeah, I'm not quite sh Is that just the cliffs that I've descended past in the background? Nope, that's that, that backwards. Okay. Backwards and forward are not the most helpful directions when I don't know what they mean necessarily. Get over there, little robot. Nope. Why is lower the only thing it says now? What are you beeping at? What are you beeping at? Hello. Oh, okay. It's like very specifically the size of that spot. Day? Eh? Eh? And that means I can go around the bridge, I guess. But I don't know why I want to. <laughs> I just saw... I saw a keyhole. And I had to put a key in it. I don't know why I wanted the door open. But, anyway. Does this not work for any reason? Ah. I see what the, the, the lock is now. Now that I've put the key in the door, I now know what the lock is. <laughs> do 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 do. Nailed it. Do, 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 do. And I might need you over there. Let's just preemptively be very clever and smart about things. Golly, I'm so intelligent and on top of things and never miss a detail. Okay. Ah! Not a crash. It has to clear this bridge. Hello? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be tall enough to help. Maybe I'll just hold it down. Oh. You know what? Let's just let's just move on. Looks like it doesn't go high enough to actually be a bridge for whatever's going on over there. Why? Well, I made a grave mistake. I'm guessing that the bridge automatically retracted when I came by, even though it was going to clear. So my proactivity done backfired. You...
Nah, I want to get a bit of... Damn it. Go in. I'm not trying to disengage, I just want a better look. It's hard to see from here. Maybe. Bless me, Father, for I have goofed. I'm down. There. I have finished a ladder I will now never use. <laughs> I'll probably use it at some point. getting steamy in here. Okay, bathosphere elevator thing. Okay, it said two things so far. We are the keepers and we understand. I think. That's what it said last time. And it looks like that cliff was gonna kind of dead end over there. That rock is in the way of the claw going any further, unless I drop it down? If you lower the ice and claw, you might be able to go under it. But for now, it's just going to disable the bridges I'm working on, so we're probably going to ignore that for now. There's a sun. Misty mountains. Giant, distant facility. Looming. Just absolutely massive. I don't know if this is Earth or not. Destination, energize, previous and next destination. Okay, so I guess this isn't how you move, this is how you choose where it's going to go to on a menu, but there's no options besides the swan. Then energize is go. Energize and whatnot, number one. I am a real gamer boy, and I know Star Trek. Ooh. How many exciting new forms of cancer have I collected? I am the engine of the Snowpiercer. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting to come out in Omega Mart suddenly, but here we are. I joke, but honestly, like Omega Mart, especially if you go into the... I didn't get to experience it myself, but if you get through all the ARG like puzzle stuff with the NPCs, like it honestly kind of feels like it was made by Mist fans. That whole experience was actually kind of wild. Like once you get into the weird part where there's like a fantastical setting full of normal humans with like journals and pop culture books and stuff like that, trying to understand this bizarre place that they found themselves in. Uh, it feels very much like Uru and stuff like that. But it's funny that the first thing I think of when I come here is I'm like, oh, I'm in Omega Mart now. Keeper's Rest. Welcome to the Swan. You have earned the honor of resting. You require cycles of rest, as do all living things. Recharge for your purpose of keeping the realms. Converse with your comrades. Disport yourself with crafts, music, or frivolity. Find respite in your quarters. Acknowledge in the lights of the firmament above 
those who now sleep. Yet do not be overly focused on rest. The purpose of rest is to assist us in fulfilling our keeping with increased energy and renewed vigor. Do not concern yourself with fatuous dreams during rest. Dreams are not trustworthy, rational, or measurable. Dreams bring false thoughts from our subconscious that might distract us from our true conscious purpose. You are a keeper. Rest is a vital part of keeping. Appreciate the small rests until it is time for your deep sleep. The Founders. Z, C, Control, Alt. Nope, I don't think you can crouch in this game. Hmm. These are the small rests, and then there's the deep sleep. And the firmament above? The deep sleep would be death, presumably? This room's beautiful for this. It's a personal maintenance adjunct. Wait, is this the same? Yes. It's just a, a handy additional copy of that book, so we don't have to go all the way back there. Okay, so I came out of the blue bathosphere, and there's a red and a green. RGB. I'm gonna focus on looking around here first before I try either of those. And potentially leave. But if it's anything like abduction, I'm, I, from what I remember, the uh, the intro was relatively overwhelming, just kind of parsing your environment. And some similar stuff happened on the Mist Island, or Riven. Just trying to make sense of what's relevant now versus later. Kind of the usual, there's mechanical parts, there's plans, stuff left undone what we've kind of come to expect. Those look like anatomical drawings? That looks like a spine? Oh yeah, down there those are lungs. So yes. Someone who's sculpting? Yeah, sculpting and painting. So there's like a there's a series of separate workstations that have clearly different interests and focus, all working together on some kind of project, or not, or not actually. These could this these could be the lone location of one person, uh, all the time, in which case these are just different interests of one person and their projects to be. But that does make me wonder why there's just so much seating room. This definitely gives you the feeling of like. A new way of student union or something. <laughs> it definitely feels like people would be as uh, would be meeting here, not just being alone here. Door. Ah, that one's open. And that one's open. Roll credits. Okay. Well, that's beautiful. Directly on the wall, too. That's quite the choice to just go straight for the wall. I have no one to share my agony with, and so I write. Words. How many have I learned? And even with such new ways to describe my feelings, I do not have any of these words left to express my sadness, my anger, my... how... how did it all come to pass? The truth. Unbearable. The void. So boundless, so cold, so dark. I am... struggling. Grasping for understanding. Comprehension. Turner. A dark power. A monster. Even he, only a tool in such a dark and objective plan. How could such darkness be handed such power? 
Did he seek it? Did it seek him? Does it always seek such servants? Was I a servant myself? Am I like him? We were all the keepers of... Of what? We were naive souls, nourished by lies, and then by his own dark power. How could he? How could I? I saved them. I lost them. I was compelled, but what now? What of me? Trapped, solitary, the burden of knowledge and deception steals my joy and my breath. My heart hurts inside of my chest. An emptiness of time stretches out before me and there is only me left to fill this time. The loneliness. How does a human live with it? The truth, the lies, the confusion. How does a human know? I am adrift, floating to nowhere in my own agony. Is there hope? Will this plan save us? Can I save myself? I wish to rid myself of such beautiful deceit, but I wonder if such a desire is even possible. So it sounds like there were- oh, was it there before? Seek the red pages. Uh, hmm. So they, so they had people at some point, and then they became alone. This isn't an endless solitary order, as I kind of figured from seeing that room. The Keeper's Poem. Observe the firmament above. Our waking lights shine bright. Our comrades in the tapestry, a wondrous, restful sight. The lights, the lights, the lights of wake, alive above our head. The dark, the dark, the dark of sleep. Deep sleep we do not dread. The vault is ours to contemplate, of canvas of our lights. An ever coruscating web, the hallmark of our nights. The lights, the lights, the lights of wake. The keeping mission binds the dark, the dark, the dark of sleep. The threshold clears our minds. The firmament, we know our tasks, the realms promised to keep. Our pledge, our waking hours to these. We pledge our waking hours to these until our time to sleep. The lights, the lights, the lights of wake. The realm is sore ador the realms are sore adored. The dark, the dark, the dark of sleep. We sleep to be restored. Some day the realms shall be fulfilled, arrivers shall draw nigh. They shall awaken the embrace. Our destiny supply. Hmm. Let's revisit that though. So above in the firmament is where their comrades are. Alive above our head. We don't sleep, we do not dread deep sleep, which seems like death. The vault. I think we're keepers of the vault. The threshold. It could be the threshold to deep sleep, or it could be like the threshold as in like, I could have crossed the threshold, and that could be why I don't remember anything, since it clears your mind. So I'm not a newborn, unless I'm a clone. Hmm. So we're waiting for the arrivers. Until then, we're keepers. Indefinitely. The Keeper's Parable In other realms that we cannot reach, there were other Keepers who lived and worked together in happiness and harmony. The Keepers contributed to the firmament mission and to the common good. 
and they shared happily the fruits of their labor. One day, a keeper awoke from the deep sleep with a new idea, a different idea, a troublesome idea. This troublesome keeper decided there could be a different way of doing things, a way he called more. This troublesome keeper tried to convince the other keepers that they could work for their own benefit rather than for the good of all. This troublesome keeper said that he could accumulate more, and having more could make them happier. At first, the keepers were skeptical. Like all keepers before, they lived with reason and measurement. They knew such a way of more seemed against reason and measurement. They asked where more would come from, and how long it could continue. The troublesome keeper provided ridiculous answers, claiming that more could come from everywhere and would last forever. They laughed, but the troublesome keeper persisted. The persistence of the troublesome keeper wore down their thoughts of reason and measurement, and they became tempted by the promise of more. Gradually, the keepers embraced the idea of more. Their focus changed from keeping the realm to collecting the more. This seemed to make them happy at first. As time went on, they became consumed by more, and the realms began to suffer. The machinery began to break, and the crops began to die, and the animals became ill, and water became tainted, and the air became putrid, and the keepers also began to suffer. Some were sick, and some were hale, and some were hungry, and some were fat, and some were thirsty, and some were bathed, and some had none, and some had more. And those who had more began to look down on those who had less, or none, as though such a thing were possible with reasonable keepers. These realms and these keepers were dying. In the midst of this chaos, a wise keeper remembered the faithful ways of keeping. The wise keeper spoke and mentored about the faithful ways of keeping the realms, healing and feeding and watering and caring for all, as comrades without more, but with fruits for all to share. And the wise keeper reminded them that this was the true way of responsible, of reasonable and measured happiness, a happiness that could last and would be for all. And this faithful way of keeping would ensure that the mission of keeping their realm, of keeping each other, could be sustained. The keepers of the realm were able to overcome the forces of more and return to the faithful ways of keeping. They learned to let go of any destructive thoughts of more and to embrace the mission of keeping the realms and keeping each other and all the Keepers once again lived and worked together in happiness and harmony. Do not be swayed from the faithful ways of keeping. Strive to be a wise Keeper. And then it's blink. That's interesting. So we're setting up... It made me wonder if that was uh, related to the name of the character mentioned earlier, or if this is an older story, because there's, there's mention of a corrupting monster and that might be related to why we lost people, but this, in this story they recover from this corruption. So this probably predates who, whatever character was being mentioned in the other journal. I forgot, I forgot his name already. I should double check that again. Huh. It's kind of an interesting through line because uh, from what I can remember of reading the first book that's based on Mist, I've only read the first one. I keep meaning to get to the other ones, but was it the book of was it the book of Atris? Uh, when you get into the backstory with Gen and how he behaved, like oftentimes the the communities on different linking book worlds that are kind of framed as primitive are themselves relatively egalitarian, and it was Gen, the clear antagonist of Riven, that corrupted that and took ex and exploited that. And we saw that in, uh, we saw that with Gen himself, and we saw that with his, with uh, Atrus's sons, that when they, when they get to these places, they try to exploit these lands. Like, there's a clear, there's a very obvious colonialist message happening in these, in those games with what happens to those 
the, these uh, self-sufficient communities that these people use their power as an outsider to exploit with the, the linking books. And once again, we have this egalitarian society that has this folk legend about how bad things got when someone made the mistake of expecting different from like a different lived experience. What's that guy's name again? Turner. Try to remember Turner for later. But I do find it also interesting that like the uh, whether or not abduction took place in the same universe as Mist, uh, although if like whether you just consider them Easter eggs or what, I don't remember how much confirmation there was, and I had not played the Mist games yet when I played it. But obviously, like this is a franchise. The Mist games were about these separate worlds that were linked by these books. And then we had an abduction. We had the machines that would that would make a a local, like, sphere change dimensions. And now we're talking about realms, plural. I can't help but immediately be primed for the idea that we're going to be warping about in a similar way. The keeper's poem. Let's see. It's worth paging through just to see, but no. Now that I've had that thought, though, I should page th through the other manual, too. When I see duplicates like this, obviously it's storytelling that they distribute this specific uh, thing to different people. Because uh, it's... it's it's, that's, that's, it's supposed to be a message understood by everybody. And so that's their goal as like a, what is functionally like a propaganda piece. Propaganda being a neutral term, whether for good or ill. But the reason I want to page through it, even though I recognize it being the same one, and I'm, and I'm going to do it here, is in universe, the characters could have written something in it. There we go. So I should definitely page through every copy I find of duplicate books because the characters themselves might have written something in their personal copies. Environmental storytelling stuff, or like they could, they, they could, there could be like, uh, like Bible study style, like religious, like notes taken on specific elements of the books, or arguments, or questions. Uh, I got I got all excited about that idea now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be disappointed automatically if I don't see that ever happen. This interactive, they're numbered. That's worth noticing. I might need to go to a specific door at some point. How do you read the numbers, though? Okay, so the closest to the door, so the, it goes number then door, because this this can only refer to this one, and there's no number at the end, I assume. Okay, this is number seven. To the ends of the firmament, there is nothing we do not know. Keeper's poem. Gonna be it for now. We answer, we know, we keep. Keepers together, our answers will provide. The firmament will prevail. Keepers together. What is that? It's like a spider robot. So on top of the big arcing lit like things. Is a structure being suspended? I saw what looked like one of those legs just kind of pointing into nowhere when I looked at that giant structure. Maintain the firmament. Keep. Just a giant eye. Is it to imply being observed? Toppled alcohol. This room's trashed. Someone either threw a tantrum or was searching this room, I think? It's like... There's stuff thrown around everywhere. There's burns in the wall, which Im might imply or apply gunshot. Oh, this is not supposed to be like this. That's supposed to be vertical and mounted on the wall. And perhaps most concerning of all, there's a lump over there. 
I would like to inspect. I don't think I can. What's what's the, what's going on over there? What's what's up over there? It was this hammer used to get the door open? Was someone shot or something? The burn holes on the wall. Hmm. Can't do anything now, but this walkway going right here definitely makes it feel like this opens or moves in some way. More toppled chairs. Keepers sleep. Oh. Distressing old timey needle. Something I always associate with Bioshock at this point. Uh, makes this room feel like a children's room. I think that are those those mean something or are they just like test splotches? Adela, Sophia, Josephine, Amalie, Margot, Rosa, Mary, Marta, Maria, Gertrude, Jackie, William, Boris, Antoine, Lucas, Laszlo, Andre, Louis, Mikola, Samuel. So they're split by gender? It seems to be the implication of the names. There's no capsule thing here. Keeper's Wake. One of them's toppled on the carpet. It's gonna stain. What are you gonna do when it stains? Hmm. So there's definitely like a seam there. It's just sort of a whole thing set up right there, and then yeah, the whole middle chunk is just missing on this side. On Keeper's Wake. We've been to both sides, so I guess we try out these bathysphere looking things now. I don't think there's anything to do here. I hopefully haven't just straight up missed a socket. There's a lot of things that resemble that kind of thing here. Would be interesting to find out whether or not these connections to all these worlds that might be implied here are still the same worlds in Mist or not. Like if this is a continued evolution. But I also kind of get the feeling that they were just kind of ready to move on from Mist. Saint Andrew. The St. Andrew Vaults. Okay. Well enough, I'd call Andrew a saint, but to each their own. This could be the vault that was discussed, although the other one also might mention a vault. It might just be vaults all the way down. Oop. We're implying travel time, but I also get the feeling that they never quite got a hold of loading of loading times going by this. Hello. Okay. Very different setting. Makes me wonder how these work. It definitely feels like some kind of interdimensional travel-y thing. Like, the, the weird rainbow lights feel like they imply something is up. And that the thing isn't physically moving. But yeah, the question is whether this is a different place on the same planet or an entirely different... place entirely. I 
It's huge is what it is. Got some jitter. Nobody threw the chairs around here. They might not survive, honestly. Hmm. Couple and uncouple. Uh, it's specifically labeled trailer. Okay, couple lowers the backside at least. Ah, uh, this whole thing is the trailer. Regardless, it's it's just a bed, like a truck bed. I mean, and this is the engine. Oh. Oh, there is also horizontal. Okay. We measure. Mm hmm. Okay, so they have bridges that are controlled from the other side. We're not getting around much there. But at the moment, my issue is that that's the only open spot, and I don't think I can walk across this guy. So if I can get over there, I can couple it to that side, and then I can move this thing forward by one. But I can't get around right now, so... Let's try going up. That's also open. Can I go up again? Because that's in the way. I guess these are already next to each other, so I can couple these if I so desire, but this is closed and it's going to be pretty hard to get up there with this attached to it on as well. It may be ill-advised. Well, maybe I can push it backwards now? Just get it more out of the way? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Before I go any further, let's explore this floor. But I figure we probably need to detach that one, take these two up there, but go forward first, then go up a bit, back into this one, attach to it, and then either take it with me or go drive it elsewhere. But at some point I want to get one attached to the other side of this so that I can go forward into it, but I'd have to be on... No, I'd have to be on that side regardless. Because no amount of attaching things to the other side lets me go around this engine, which is kind of a design flaw. <laughs> Oh, it's a bank. Right, because we're at the vaults. I saw this stuff around here, and then I saw this, like, soil-covered, colored walls. And I thought that these were, like, a bunch of weird planting pods, like you see in, like, a spaceship that doesn't have a down direction for gravity. So they just kind of have curved planters, but no. A lot of these places are looking pretty cleared out. Hmm. So you can also take the whole cubby out, it looks like. How green was that? Just, yeah. Strong. Here we go. So this way I can gradually open up more of the vault doors and just kind of make the whole thing more accessible. So I should open every single one I see, probably. Because I don't currently have a reason to think it's that there's any downside. Hello. 
Well, I think I've discovered the root of our problems, huh? Huh, yeah, I guess so. I saw that staircase, so I was just... I mentally made a note. Oh, I can, I can turn left and go upstairs, but... No. In fact, cannot. But it's open over here. Oopsie. No. Look at me go. There we go. Still tripping me up a bit, but every time you want to use this thing, like, here's me clicking. Like, but then here's me holding click. It takes a moment to get it out. But so every single time I, I, I like, click a couple times first, and it doesn't come out, and then I remember to hold it. Okay, so... That's all we get. Um? Okay. There's hanging gardens up there. Those themselves kind of look like they can they can rotate. We have the hint. Oh yeah, we have hints of all sorts of like actual traversal around here. Weirdly looks like a pipe dream puzzle for some reason. I don't know why that that's clicking that way. Uh, but all this floor enabled was me to walk around and eventually open up all four of these doors, but none of them lead anywhere. So they're mostly an opportunity. <laughs> Yeah. When I build this thing up, I can go to a, I can take it to this floor. And then if I have if I need to change what side I'm on, I can use this floor because every single door is open. So if I need to go around this engine later, that'll solve that problem. How did you think that I meant that one? Okay. On a couple. This is the shortest that this vehicle can be, is one engine and one trailer, if I'm going to use it to get around, at least. You could probably technically access that thing from... Uh, not that range. It might be possible to access it when you're not on it, to send it to a different floor, but you'd have to be able to get to that floor. Honestly, I think they probably won't let me do that, because you can get yourself stuck very quickly by sending it to a floor you don't have access to, and then just... That's it. <laughs> the end. We have the back one and the front one, and I once again can't get to the front because of how this thing is set up. Nope. Is this is as forward as we go? No, it's not. I can't go there, though. Okay, I can access this one. It went a bit further. I'm quickly scanning these hallways with my eyes, but I could miss something. I'm just trying not to sit here and agonize over every single detail, because it's it's likely junk data. Clutter. And we'll be here for a while if I try to check every single open vault for, like, a key. Was I staying too close to it? Okay, now all of these are open. But did these just connect to each other and nowhere else? Because the roots are here. Ah. It's... Only two of them connected.
How far back does it go? This many. So the rest hasn't amounted to much yet, but this takes me downstairs. That light stood out to me for some reason. So now we're on a different floor from the actual vehicle. I can come down here and open things up, but I won't be able to get anywhere for the moment. This is where this vehicle is. This trailer we were, trailer we were potentially trying to access before. Alright guys, well, buckle in for the long haul. We're starting Firmament. And uh, hey, if you want to check out more of this playthrough even faster than the normal release schedule, I've been trying to give people more Patreon perks, so I'm going to be uploading... Uh, rude. We wake. I'm going to be uploading this to Patreon, so if you want to watch the next few hours right now, they're up on Patreon probably, or about to be. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you twice a week. See you next time.